Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be computing an indefinite integral. So we have the integral of ln of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 dx, and we're going to integrate this. So there is a couple different methods that we use a lot. For example, u substitution is one of them. There is trigonometric substitutions, and there's something called integration by parts. Okay, so first of all, I'll tell you how integration by parts works, and then we will go about solving this problem. So integration by parts basically comes from the product rule, which is the derivative of the product, something like u times v. And it looks like this. So we have the integral of u times dv, and it can be written as uv minus the integral of v times du. Now the purpose here is to turn this integral u dv into something that is easier to integrate like v du. If that doesn't work, then it just doesn't work. Okay, so how do we apply this to our problem? And before we talk about that, let me go ahead and give you a couple bullet points here because those are some of the formulas that we're going to use while solving this problem. So suppose u is a function of x. Let's call that u equals f of x. And from here, I can safely say that du, and we see that a lot, right? We have to calculate du and dv and so on and so forth. du basically just means that the derivative of u multiplied by dx. Of course, if you divide both sides by dx, you're going to get du over dx, which is the derivative, which is the same as du prime. Okay, so that's easy to show. The second thing I want to talk about is the derivative of the ln function. So if you have ln u and you're trying to differentiate it, it can be written as u prime over u. Very simple. You differentiate the inside and divide it by the original function. We also call this chain rule. And the square root function can also be differentiated very easily. We're going to use this also. And it's basically, again, the chain rule applies. So you differentiate the inside and then divide by 2 times the original square root function. Okay, so these are the bullet points that I wanted to talk about. Before we get started now, let's get started. So we're trying to integrate this function, ln x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 dx. So what are we going to do? We're going to be naming these u and dv, right? So we start off with that one. So suppose this is u, and obviously here I don't really have a choice because there's only one function that's multiplied by dx, and dx has to be dv. So after this, let's go ahead and write it down. So u is equal to this, ln x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. And from here, I'm going to find du, all right? And then I'm going to put my dv here. dv is dx. And from here, I'll calculate v. But of course, this is fairly easy. If you just integrate both sides and just forget about the constant for now, v equals x is what we get. So let's go ahead and calculate du in a separate place, and then we'll put it together because I want to be able to simplify it before I can use it. Okay, so so our expression, how do you find du? By definition, again, here I already told you, uh, du, you can differentiate the u and then multiply by dx. So let's go ahead and differentiate this function first. How do you differentiate it? Well, if u is equal to ln of this function, x squared plus 1 squared of that plus x, now, to find du, I have to differentiate the function first. How do you differentiate an ln function? u prime over u. That's the formula that we're going to use. And that's going to look like the following. I'm going to differentiate x first because it's, the, it's a sum, right? So the derivative of x is 1. And the derivative of the squared function is just going to be the derivative of the inside divided by 2 times the square root of u. So it's going to look like the following. The derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x divided by 2 times square root of x squared plus 1. That's just going to be u prime. And then I'm going to divide it by u, which is the original function in this case. And of course, don't get confused because I am using the u in two different places. So let me go ahead and just write it this way. And my goal is basically to find the derivative of this function. And in this case, of course, I'm referring to this as u. Okay? So the denominator of my function is going to be x plus the square root of x squared plus plus 1. Now, when you make a common denominator, of course, the 2 cancels out, you basically get, and of course, don't forget to multiply by dx, otherwise you'll lose points. And so this gives you, if you make a common denominator, this is going to give you x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 
right? Divided by the square root of x squared plus 1, and then all of that divided by x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. That's kind of like a weird expression, but if you go ahead and cross these out, you're going to end up with 1 over square root of x squared plus 1 dx for du. So let's go ahead and write that in there. So my du is going to be 1 over square root of x squared plus 1 times dx, which is what comes from here. Okay? Now, I, I, I pretty much have everything I need, so let's go ahead and put this together. I'm trying to avoid the colors like red and pink and purple because I, I was uh, made aware that uh, they're hard to see, especially on mobile phones. So if you have struggles with this, please let me know and I'll try to change the colors. But I try to use a variety of different colors, so it's not always like the same colors. But hopefully this will be light enough so that it can be seen on any platform. But please let me know if there's any issues. All right, so... I'm supposed to do, go with the uv first, so that's my uv, right? This is my uv, and then v du. So that's going to be like this. But of course, there's a minus sign in between. Let's not forget that. So I'm going to multiply first x times that. So it's going to look like x times ln x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. This is my uv minus the integral of v du. When you multiply these two expressions, of course, you're going to be getting some radical at the bottom, but guess what? This is going to be easy to integrate. Hopefully you recognize this function already because if you go back to the ln function, you'll probably notice that, well, this uh, this is just the derivative of the square root of x squared plus one, right? Especially since I do need a two here, I can just go ahead and do a little trick, multiply the top and the bottom by two. Now what you notice is basically, uh, you're basically getting something like, uh, you know, if you call this like, let's say, y, right, uh, you can just go ahead and differentiate it and you're going to get something interesting from here. So let's go ahead and handle this integral uh, separately and then we'll put it together. So I'm basically calling this expression here x squared plus 1 without the square root, of course. I'm not, I don't want to go inside the square root, of course. So what I want to do is basically just call this part y. So y is equal to x squared plus 1. And then from here, dy is going to be 2x dx. As you see here, we're getting an extra 1 half, but that's okay. We can basically just pull it out. And I can even put it here now and just totally get rid of that one. Okay. Now, what we have here is then our integral is going to look like 1 half of du over square root of u. But remember that this is going to be multiplied by 2 again. I don't know why I did that. I should ke keep, I should have kept the 2 inside. But the integral of the u over 2 root u, as you will remember, is just the square root of u plus c. We're going to put the c at the end, so just bear with me on that one. But basically, this integral is just going to give you the square root of x squared plus 1. Okay, when you put it together, let's go ahead and put it together. And we were trying to integrate, if you remember, it was ln of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 dx. And that is just equal to, so my result is going to be x times the ln of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. And then, of course, from that, I just need to subtract my minus, minus, the square root of x squared plus 1, and then at the end, I'm just going to put my constant c, and that will conclude this problem. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.